In our county, in the last two years combined, there have been over 36 babies that have died of sleep-related death. That's a kindergarten classroom of children. At Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies at Broward, we're dedicated to reducing infant deaths. And we do that by strengthening families through a comprehensive approach to prenatal care, parenting, education, and support services. These sleep-related deaths are 100% preventable. So that drove us to start thinking, what can we do to stop these babies from dying? So we put together a summit, um, bringing important information to local first responders. When I showed up for the Safe Sleep Summit, I said, why don't we just do something about this in Fort Lauderdale? If we're, we're, this is all happening, we're firefighters. We go into houses every day. I mean, we walk in and we see it. I'm like, let's do it. And that's how we started working and we eventually became a DOSE, direct on scene education. We have trained all fire rescue in the county on how to take a regular call and turn it into a pediatric assessment to determine if there's an infant in the home, do they have a safe infant sleep space for that child? And if they don't, then Healthy Mothers Healthy Babies provides the crib. When people call 911, it's because they need help. So there we are. After giving birth, I start having health complications and I called the ambulance. While they were here, they had asked me if I had a baby crib and I told them that so far I haven't gotten one. They find this infant, you know, they end up going into action, get a crib in place. They unpacked it and folded it out and I was just amazed. And then Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies does a follow-up with the family to ensure that they're using it. I see that she was Everyone is really receptive because they just didn't know that they didn't know. The baby can suffocate uh, by a t just a teddy bear or a little pillow or maybe a tiny blanket, but it's dangerous for them to have anything in the crib. Definitely, we've seen a trend in our numbers with sleep-related deaths decreasing in certain hot zones where we've been running the program. I would hope that someday it would become a standard of care in all fire departments to understand and recognize safe sleep hazards. And when they see them, just take them out and just, you know, no red tape, no bureaucracy, just you see a blanket, tell the mom why, and then get it out. They're in uniform, they're trusted, they're welcomed into the home. And without doubt, families listen to them with a different ear than they do social workers. If we can save just one infant's life, then why wouldn't we? To me, DOSE is priceless. We save lives, we're saving lives, and it's not costing anybody anything. I believe that this program has made such a significant impact, not just in Broward County, but across this country.